This is a big honor for me. Right now, I'm standing with Massimo Bonzi, co-founder of Arduino. Now, Massimo, this is amazing. The Arduino movement is absolutely astounding. Is this anything that you ever expected? No, are you crazy? <laughs> Not as none of this I ever expected. It, at the beginning, it was just a tool that we developed for students, and you know, it all thanks to the community that formed around it and the people who believed in it, and it went around the world saying, "People, you just check, you need to check out this Arduino." You know, it's, yeah. it seems like one of the big things that people have really latched onto with Arduino is that Arduino is an open source microprocessor that you can use to control just about any type of robotic electronic project that you want to create? We open source the design of the hardware as well. So people were used already to open source software, but then we decided that we wanted everybody to be able to make their own or build upon our work. So we shared also the design of the hardware. And I think this is one of the elements uh, that made it very popular, on top of the fact that we try to make it simple as well. What are some of the most amazing and surprising projects that you've seen so far? When I saw the first 3D printer, like the MakerBot based on Arduino, I was like, whoa, okay, 3D printers. Then somebody started to make a laser cutter that was open source with the Arduino. And then somebody made a machine that you use to analyze DNA, which is based on Arduino. So every day there's like a more complex and more, uh, I can say, a project that has an impact on, on society and can help people, you know, maybe in a developing country get the equipment they need to do scientific experiments by spending a lot more money by building their own tools. So it's it's difficult to see where it will go now. Where do you see all of this going? What's coming up next? Well, we're trying to provide uh, the community with more powerful tools. So we're launching now a new board, which is based on a 32-bit ARM microcontroller. So this is will basically enable people to do more complex projects, more powerful stuff. I mean, if you think about it, you know, Chris Anderson is building these helicopters that fly by themselves. Right. And he basically pushed the Arduino platform to the very limit. They're just squeezing out all the power. So this new Arduino duo that we're working on will enable his team to make even a more complex and, and fun uh, quadcopter or UAV. So, you know, that's amazing for me. Arduino duo, eh? Yes. Arduino 2, what's, uh, what's the release date for that? When is that coming out? Well, we're starting to essentially hand out the boards now to 50 people who will join the beta program and they will help us in the next month or two. And then we have a couple of big companies I cannot tell you about right now that are going to release products based on that. And then before the, before the summer, it will be available to anybody to, to buy. You're something of a personal hero, so I wanted to ask a favor. I was wondering <laughs> if uh, I actually brought my... Uh, my own Arduino. Wow. I was wondering if I could have you autograph this for me. <laughs> okay. This is, oh, this is a vintage one with the Italian map at the back. Ah, beautiful. You won't be seeing this on eBay. This one I'm keeping. I don't know what to say sometimes. There's so much love in the Arduino community. It's true. <laughs> yeah.